Hello Tots, my name's Tim and this is my garden. Now I love spring when all the plants come out and these are some of my favourite plants. This is my strawberry plant and it's beginning to get flowers and every flower will have a strawberry growing out of it soon. In a couple of months the strawberries will be ready to eat and I am so excited when they appear I can't wait to tell all my friends about it and to share the strawberries with everyone I know. Everyone come quickly, the strawberries are ready. Look, here you go. Oh, thanks Tim. They look delicious. Mmm, try these. Wow, can I try one? Mmm, juicy. Check these out. Whoa. Whoa. Mmm, dude, you have got to try these. Oh, thanks very much. I love a strawberry. Mmm, delicious. Do you know that feeling when you've got some exciting news and you're just desperate to share it with people? What are the kind of things that you hear that you can't wait to pass on to other people? Perhaps you get really excited to tell people when you've done an amazing piece of art at nursery or at home. Or maybe you get really excited and want to tell everyone about it when you've had a trip out to a special place. Or, Maybe it's when you score the winning goal in a football match. Mm. As people who follow Jesus, we have the best news in the world to share with other people. Even better than the news about fresh strawberries. Even better than news about how you've done something brilliant. We have the most amazing news the world has ever heard. That everyone, no matter if they're young or old, tall or short, big or small, every single person is loved by God. And God wants everyone to know how much he loves them. In fact, he wants you, you, whoever you are, to tell other people about the amazing news that they are known and loved by God. Jesus says we are a bit like a city on a hill. Because if you put a city on a hill and it's high up, you can't help but notice it. It's really obvious, isn't it? Or he said you're a bit like a light shining in the darkness. Your good news has to be shared with other people. I'll tell you what, why don't we stop there for a moment and sing one of my favourite songs about being a city on a hill and a light in the darkness.
What an amazing song! I've had to put my feet up after all that dancing. Hey, did you know that the Bible says that you have beautiful feet? That's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Well, hundreds of years ago, the prophet Isaiah said some strange words about how you and I can have beautiful feet. It says in Isaiah 52:7. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of the messenger who brings good news, the good news of peace and salvation, the news that the God of Israel reigns. That's a bit of a strange Bible verse, isn't it? But I think it means this: that our feet are beautiful because they can take us to people who don't know how much God. Loves them because we walk on our feet, and they take us to nursery and school, and to see friends and family in the park. And these are all places where we can tell people through what we say and what we do that they are so loved by the God who made them. Do you want to join me in praying? It's going to be a bit weird, but here's what I want you to do: Can you reach out and touch your foot? Yeah, can you hold it like this? Why don't we pray that we'll have beautiful feet? Because they help us tell people about Jesus. While holding your foot, why don't you close your eyes like me? Lord God, help our feet to be beautiful because they take us to people and places where we can say how much you love everyone you have made. Amen. Can you say Amen with me? Well done. Why don't we pray the same thing over our mouths? So can you reach up with your smelly hands that have now touched your feet and touch your mouth? And why don't you say this prayer with me and close your eyes? Lord, may we have beautiful mouths that tell other people about how much you love them. Amen. Did you touch your mouth? Well done. That's brilliant. Finally, why don't you? Touch your eyes. Don't actually touch your eyes. Put your fingers near your eyes. You don't want to poke them. That would hurt. But as you put your fingers on your eyes and close your eyes, I'm going to say this prayer: Lord, help us to use our eyes to see the people and places where we can speak about how much you love everyone. Amen. Did you say amen? Well done. Tots, it's been brilliant spending time with you today. I hope that you will be people, and the adults in your household will be people who have beautiful feet and lips and eyes as you tell people about just how amazing Jesus is and how much God loves them. Do you know what's even better news to tell people than having fresh strawberries to share? Have a brilliant week, Tots, and we'll see you soon. God bless. Bye.